Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in part 9.3.1 of our Mastering Multi-Threading series, we'll delve into thread interaction and signaling using monitor.weight and monitor.pulse pulse all. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Monitor.weight and monitor.pulse pulse all in C as we know, multi-threading involves managing multiple threads and coordinating their actions can be tricky. When threads need to talk or work together, we use tools like monitor.weight, monitor.pulse and monitor.pulse all. Today, we we'll look at how these tools help make thread coordination more effective. Monitor.weight and monitor.pulse pulse all, these methods are used to organize threads in a queue. Wait puts the calling thread into a waiting state until another thread calls pulse to wake it up. There is a subtle difference between monitor.pulse and monitor.pulse all. Monitor.pulse method is used to signal a single thread that is waiting on the monitor. Whereas monitor.pulse all method is used to signal all threads that are currently waiting on the monitor. Okay, let's try to understand monitor.wait and monitor.pulse concept with the help of analogy. So in this analogy, we have two kids, kid 1 and kid 2. And there is a referee and kid wants to ride tricycle. So how? It is going to be managed with the help of monitor.weight and monitor.pulse we are going to see in this analogy. Think of a shared resource like a tricycle that two kids, kid 1 and kid 2 want to ride but only one kid can use it at a time. The monitor is a, like a referee and monitor.weight and monitor.pulse are commands that referee uses to make sure the kids take turns and ride the tricycle nicely. Using monitor.weight, when one kid is riding the tricycle and the other ones want to ride, the referee tells the first kid to take a break and let the other kid have a turn. The first kid goes and sits down until the referee says they can ride again. Using monitor.pulse, now when it's the first kid's turn to ride again, the referee tells them it's their turn. The first kid can hop on the tricycle and continue riding. So in simple terms, we can say that monitor.wait is like a pause button for one kid and monitor.pulse is like a pressing play to let the kid, let that kid to go back to riding. So these commands help control which kid gets to use the tricycle at any given time. That's how monitor.wait and monitor.pulse work. Okay, so let's see the code how to implement it. We need to follow three steps. Step number one, we need to create an object called lock object. That's what I have written object lock object is equal to new. So this object will be used as a synchronization lock ensuring that only one thread can access the critical section at a time. Step number two, where we are implementing thread one. So first we write lock lock object. So this ensures that only one thread at a time can enter the critical section enclosed by the lock state. So it prevents multiple threads from accessing the critical sections simultaneously. So inside the lock block, I have written monitor.wait lock object. So this statement basically causes thread one to release the lock on lock object and wait for another thread to pulse. That is the signal that it can continue. And we use this monitor.wait statement over here because we want thread1 wait for a certain condition before process. In step number 3, we write lock lock object again that ensures that only one thread at a time can enter the critical section. Then inside the lock block, we wrote monitor.pulse lock object. Why we have written this one? Because we wanted to send the signals a single waiting thread that is currently blocked in the monitor.wait call in thread1. So once thread2 execute this line, it signals thread1 that it can proceed further. So that's how we implement the monitor.wait and monitor.pulse to handle the synchronization. Let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. First of all, we will see a program with synchronization issue and then we will enhance and address these issues by implementing monitors wait and pulse method. To show the demo of synchronization issue, what I have done, I have opted race condition. Okay, so I'm just going to show the demo of race condition. For that, what I have done, I have created one console application named monitor wait and pulse pulse all demo that has program.cs file. Program.cs file, we have two class, class square room and the class program. In class square room, we have one Boolean variable try cycle in use that I have marked with false value initially. And then this square room class has one method ride on tricycle that is accepting the kid name. What this method is doing, it is checking if tricycle in use, then it is just going to print this statement and returning from here it's What statement it is printing? Kid name. Oops, the tricycle is already in use. 
I'll try gain late. From there itself, the statement is just returning. If try cycle in not in use, then this statement is going to get print. Console dot write line kid name. Yay! It's my turn to write on the try cycle. And then I'm just making this try cycle in use is equal to true. And then I'm simulating writing on a try cycle. So for that, I have written this statement thread dot sleep to. So this statement basically make thread to sleep for two seconds. Then finally, I'm writing this statement kid name time to stop writing. It's someone else turn now. Then I'm just again setting this try cycle in whose value to fall. That's what this write on try cycle method is. Now there is another class named program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application. In main method, as a first statement, I'm just printing this state. Position issue, race condition. Then what I'm doing, I'm creating an instance of this try room class. Then I'm creating two thread, kid one thread and kid two. In kid one thread, I'm just calling this write on try cycle method. I'm passing this kid one there. Kid name. Then I am starting this kid one thread dot start. Similarly, I am doing for kid two also. Thread kid two thread is equal to new thread, and here I am again calling this write on try cycle. But instead of kid one, I am passing kid two name over here, and I am starting kid two thread dot start. And then I am using the join statement against these two thread so that main thread will wait until kid one thread and kid thread gets complete. So if you notice here, I have not implemented the wait and pulse. So let me execute this program and show this output to you. Okay, so output got appear into this console window. See this output, it is saying kid1, yay, it's my turn to write on side try cycle. Kid2 also saying the same thing, yay, it's my turn to write on try cycle. So both kids are trying to write on this cycle. And again, this statement got printed. Kid1 says, time to stop writing it, someone, time to stop writing it, someone. Basically, this output is representing the race condition. It's not synchronized, right? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to modify this program and implement monitor wait and monitor pulse method to resolve this synchronization issue okay so let me stop this okay so in order to save the time i have modified this program and let me explain you what changes i have done so in class to room class i have introduced this lock concept i have written private object lock object is equal to new that will help us in synchron and a step number two in this ride on try cycle method, what I have done, I have implemented this lock concept. So I am making sure that this critical section will be accessed by only one thread at a time. Here, if try cycle in use, then this statement is just going to print it. I have changed this statement. Here, the referee says to kid name that we are passing in this method as a parameter. The try cycle is in use, you need to wait. I have written this statement monitor.wait lock up. So this kid is going to wait because referee has asked him to wait. Then I am writing console.write line. The referee says to kid, now it's your turn to ride on try cycle. Then what I'm doing, I'm simulating riding on try cycle. Then step number three, again I have implemented the lock on lock object. I'm just printing this statement. Referee says to kid, you need to stop riding, it's someone else's turn now. Then what I'm doing, I'm just making this boolean variable try cycle in use is equal to false. And then I'm just writing this statement monitor.pulse lock object. So this statement sends the signal to the other kid to write. So that's how threads are coordinating to each other with the help of dot wait and monitor.pulse map. Okay, so let me execute this program and show this output to you. Okay, if you see this output got appear into the solution of synchronization issue with monitors wait and pulse method. The referee says to kid one, now it's your turn to ride on try cycle. Now the kid one is riding the try cycle. Then referee says to kid two, the try cycle is in use, you need to wait. Because the kid one is riding the try cycle, he is saying to the kid two, the try cycle is in use, you need to wait. Then referee says to kid 1, you need to stop riding, it's someone else's turn. Referee says to kid 2, now it's your turn to ride on try cycle. Referee says to kid 2, you need to stop riding, it's, it's someone else's turn. If you see, all the communication happening in the synchronization file. Kid 1 is riding, then kid 2 is waiting. Kid 2 is riding, then kid 1 is waiting. Right? So it's in synchronized way, it is getting executed. Right? And then finally, this statement got printed try cycle. Right? That's how we use monitors, wait, and pulse matter to resolve the synchronization. Here, in this case, I have implemented this concept in order to resolve this race condition. Okay, that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, we have explored the fundamentals of thread interaction and signaling using monitor.wait and monitor.pulse and pulse. Off. In our next video, we'll explore countdown event and barrier class uses for thread interaction and signaling. So stay tuned. That's all for this video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.